Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Clayton J, and today I'm going to be talking about my top surgery. Before I get started, I want to say go check out the description below. It has all my social media. If you're new to this channel and you like my content, such as, like, transgender content or uh, I make vlogs, you know, stuff like that, remember to subscribe because I make that kind of content every single time I upload. And, yeah, so first thing is I am my first surgery. I am 11 months post-op. My revision surgery, I am two months and one week post-op. And um, I, I'm not exactly 11 months today. I think today's like April 19th or something, something like that. And I think I got surgery April 6th. So obviously we're like 11 months and blah, blah, blah days. Um, but a lot of people have been saying my nipples are really big. But you know, when my nipples get hard, like when they're hard now, like cold and like they shrink up, then they shrink. Like now look, now they look really small, don't they guys? I'll put a picture next here if I have any, if I have one with my nipples bigger, but now look how small they look. Like now they actually look really small. So it just depends when they're flat um, and not like hard or whatever you call it. Or like when you're cold and they shrink up. Cause now look how they're really small right now. Like I actually like them. I wish they were this size every single time, but they only get the size of like when I'm cold or like I just got out of the shower. So like, obviously I got cold after that. So they got hard or Something like that. I don't know. Um, but, yeah. Let's do an update. And uh, here it is right now. So, you can tell... Right here, this is old scar. Look how perfect that looks. This is old scar right here. And this is old scar. And this to here is all two months and one week old. Um, so you can tell it got like a little bit of a, a bump right there. And you can see right there too. It's You see that guys? It's definitely a little thick right there. But like it's not bad, you know. It's, it's not bad at all. Uh, I am left-handed, so that when I got the revision, I was I still went to work. Like when I had my first surgery, I was out for like a month, probably like I think three weeks. Um, then my second one, I was out for like four days. Like I was not out that long, and most of those days, I, it was already my day off because I have three days off work. So it was already that, and I only took a couple extra days off work. So and then I went back, and you know I was lifting and everything, and you can definitely tell like that right there looks like it's like a little dog tag. And then you can see that, can't you guys? This is the two month, one week. They're getting a little bigger now. Um, but you know what? At the end of the day, I'm still pretty happy with it. Like this scar looks a lot better. I'll put in the other scar. The other scar was so thick. So this is a lot better than that scar already. Um, yeah. And after I, like, lose lose my fat, you know, and gain muscle and gain chest muscle, um, then my scars will go underneath and my pecs will come out, you know. Uh, but I keep saying I'm going to gain muscle. I keep saying I'm going to work out and lose this fat. And then guess what? I eat junk food. So I don't know if that day will ever come. I hope it comes. A um, little sad that every single time I make these update videos, this also gets bigger every single time. I also just ate, too, so, like, that could be it, but... I guess I'm, guess I'm a little chubby, you know, um, but I still look pretty good, right? You can definitely tell this one looks a lot better than this one, but I'm left-handed, plus they redid all this. You can definitely tell what they redid. They redid it, to, so pretty much this whole scar, because this is all that didn't, they didn't redo this. So pretty much they redid this whole scar, because this whole scar was thick, plus like right here, it had like a little bump or whatever, so they just kind of like cut it and zipped it back up this all they redid was right there and that's because remember it had like a little bit of fat right there that i really didn't like remember that so they just cut it off and just redid it um and it's gone it's still obviously fat but that's because i've gained weight uh last time it was literally just a bump underneath it which was so weird but they got rid of that and i'm really happy with how it turned out here's how it looks all the way back here all the way back I still don't like to 
raise my left hand because I get so scared because like, look, you can definitely tell it's, it's trying to pop off my skin again. Um, I know I'm 11 months. Well, I'm, I'm two months and one week with my revision scar. Uh, but remember, I was awake for that, um, for that, uh, surgery. All they did was cut it open and sew it back, you know, cut some off, sew it right back. It, it literally took like 30 or less minutes, probably less. Um, but I'm pretty happy with it. You know, um, I'm not getting another revision. Uh, I haven't even talked to my surgeon at like a week after I went, like I did one update. And then after that, he's like, all right, you don't need to talk to me unless like something really goes wrong, you know, then you can come contact me. But I'm done with that doctor. Um, and yeah, pretty happy with everything. Um, 11 months. Wow. That's crazy. It's already 11 months. Uh, this is going to be my first summer without a shirt. If I don't wear a shirt, but I don't know guys. I, I, this is still, this is still only two months old and look how red it is. Like I am enjoying how, look, you guys cannot even see that scar if I'm all the way back here because of my hair. But like when I'm up close, you can see the scar right there, but when I'm far, you can't. So I'm Kind of, and you can see how red this is because it's only two months old. So I kind of think this summer I'm still going, maybe I'll wear a tank top, you know, so it'll be like a little looser. But uh, also, I love wearing like swimming shirts now because it sticks to your body. Like when I had my chest, you know, when it stuck to my body, it was like flat, whoop, flat, and then whoop down here, little belly. Uh, but now it's literally flat, 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 just a little belly, boom, <laughs> which I still don't like that. Um, I feel like I look skinnier without a shirt than with a shirt because the shirt gives me that little belly look. But, I mean, you can still see the little belly look right there. Um, but, so I probably won't go shirtless this summer because, not because I'm scared of my scars or anything like that. Um, it's mostly because I, I want this to heal just as good as this healed. Because you guys can't even see the scar right there. Um, and I don't want it to heal bad. So I might just wait. We'll just see, you know, maybe on days. Because some days we go to the beach, like last year, and it was, like, cloudy. But like hot but cloudy, then I'll take off my shirt. But if the if there's going to be um, sun, I might not because I don't want no sun rays to hurt my chest or anything right now. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I got to tell you. Uh, go follow me on Instagram. I like to post a lot of uh, pictures shirtless so you guys can see my scars and my nips and shit like that. So go check that out. I have one of those videos that um, like, you know, people, there's someone I call my nipples pepperoni nipples on TikTok, you know, uh, and it's just so funny because my I do got to think my nipples are still like I still think my nipples are a little bigger than usual. But like when they get hard, like they're kind of they're hard right now. Look how small they look. Oh, they're getting a little they're getting a little less hard. They still kind of feel weird when I touch them. But like I feel that I'm touching it. Oh, but I also did chest workout yesterday. Um, so I'm actually trying. Uh, so it, it's kind of sore up here. But they're getting a little bigger again. But also, you know, um. I look so small and scrawny, you know, that like my nipples look so big, but I feel like after I get bulky, oh, then my nipples will kind of fit my body too, if that makes sense. But yeah, this is the end of the video. Let me open up this one. I'm going to show you guys um, the gay bar, the LGBT bar, bar across the street, have their flags out and it's so cute. Look at that. They got their flags out. It's cute. They got like three flags. It's pretty cool. Uh, I was planning on putting a flag out my door. You know, I, ha I have my trans flag and I have, I think I have a gay flag too. Um, I have a couple flags right now. I, I have to find them though. I was planning on putting it out here, but also like my neighbors are older and like that one's already like really rude. Um, so like, I don't know if they will like do something to my flags, you know? Um, so I don't know if I will, but I think it'd be cute though. Cause that's the LGBT bar. So, that, you know, it's, I think it'd be cute, but um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. See you guys next video. Bye.